I have vivid memories of growing up in Jackson Heights, Queens, and on Yom Kippur. The synagogues were packed, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people who we wouldn't see all year came on Yom Kippur. The synagogue had a very large auditorium. The auditorium was filled to capacity also. A special cantors were hired to service the new crowds that were coming in. What was magnificent also was that everyone fasted. This was understood. You're Jewish, you fast on Yom Kippur. Actually, fasting on Yom Kippur is a national treasure. The Sfasemis, the great Hasidic master, explains that fasting on Yom Kippur shows us that we are actually akin to angels because angels don't eat and don't drink. So on Yom Kippur, when we don't eat and we don't drink, we become angelic. Fasting on Yom Kippur liberates us, says the Sfasemis. It gives us freedom because it impresses upon us that our core is our neshama, our core is our soul. Uh, the physical body, all the physical things that we refrain from on Yom Kippur, those are to help the neshama, to help the spiritual accomplish that which it needs in this world. The Svasem has says that Yom Kippur is actually the closest to Olam Haba, the closest to the world to come that we can achieve in this world because it impresses upon us the spiritual strength that we have within us. It opens up our core. He explains that there are other fast days during the year. There are fast days like Tisha B'Av where we mourn for the destruction of the temple. And it's, it's a day of mourning. And the, the fasting, we fast because we, we are mourning the destruction of the temple. And we fast also because to, to, to express our, our penitence, to express our teshuva. Yom Kippur is not a day of mourning, says the Sfasemis. It's a liberating day. It's a day where our fasting symbolizes, reminds us of the inner strength within us. May Hashem help us that this Yom Kippur and throughout the year, we always remember the, the core, our essence, and who we are is our neshama and our, our soul. And when we fast this Yom Kippur, it's actually, it's a day of atonement. It's a power-packed spiritual day. It's a national treasure, a gift from Hashem to remind us of our core and who we really are. Wishing you and yours a Gemar Chasimah Tova. May you be sealed in the book of life and health and happiness. And may this year be a year of good health and profound spiritual growth.